We're inside the new AFS uh, Steiger quad track here, and we got an all new instrumentation, new monitoring, went to color coded standard monitoring up on our A post, and this is the all new Pro 1200 12 inch display, one of the largest in the business. You can see it's color coded, so you can do all kinds of different things with this monitor right now. As you can see here, you got different menus, much like your iPad you use back at home. I can go in the tractor right here, and the tractor will come up and tell me what model I'm in, what if it's a quad track, serial number. Here you got your air conditioning, your lights, so you can do, uh, you can set up lights on two different ways. You can put them in memory here, or say you're running a grain cart, which is pretty common. So you can turn all your lights on, and then when you want to sit it and you come up beside the grain or the combine unloading the grain cart, you can have it shut off these lights on the side okay. so you don't blind the driver. Something just as again, set it up simple as a button push. Or, or here we got uh, HMC2, this is headland management control. So when you come up to the end of the field now, you can program one button, and it's right down here. You put your programming in, so let's say you're plant with one of our 47 row high speed planters. You're coming up to the end of the field and you want to raise the planter, shut off everything on the head, headland turn. It'll make your turn, raise the planter up, engage guidance, come back into the row, pick up the guidance line, drop the planter, engage all the seed with one button push right here and you don't have to touch the steering wheel. It would also may allow the tractor to turn, and we call it AccuTurn. So if that's programmed to the tractor, we're like one button push away from autonomy. We still require an operator and everything just to watch everything that's going on for liability and everything reasons, but that's how close we're getting with all the technology and Steiger tractors today. We start at uh, 370 horsepower on our wheel Steigers, and we go up to 620 horsepower on our quad track and wheel versions. And we also have uh, scraper versions where we go into commercial scraper work, a lot okay. of dirt moving, land leveling activities that we go into, and we're seeing a lot of high percentages go up on high horsepower in tracks just because they get more work done like the speed tiller behind me had with the Case IH system. You know, you can cover 800 acres a day easily, you know, and do a lot of tillage and residue management with the quad track and still have the agronomic value and not putting a lot of soil pressure on the ground. So with our 36 inch tracks, we can get down to only five PSI of ground pressure and like get all the traction we've always had. So we see a lot of that happening today. On the quad track, uh, the other thing we've done is uh, we improved the undercarriage. We went to uh, bolt on roller wheels, so it's easy to replace the wheel. You don't have to replace the bearings and everything. We've also went to uh, cast undercarriage suspension system that's got rubber mounts on the undercarriage to absorb more shock, make a better ride, and then we call them 200, 360 degree donuts at each end of the undercarriage. So that allows the shock to go back and forth, up and down, and also to follow the crown of the road so you don't wear the edge of the track out on one side or the other. Another big improvement for us on the Steiger is where we added the new hydraulic remote valves. We're getting about 10% uh, more flow out of the new remote valves. You can unhook and decouple under pressure now. Everything is color coded and numbered so you can match it just like we are to our speed tiller back here with the color coded uh, male connectors into the female connectors on the Steiger tractor and we also we all know you get dirt inside hydraulic couplers well we made them self-cleaning so when you plug the tip in we have a rubber grommet and an o-ring that it pushes through to clean all the debris off of the male tip and then when you pull it back out it'll scrub that connection again and then the lid will close automatically so it seals the valve off from dust and debris and you don't have to worry about leaving it open or anything. So making life easier and simpler for our customers and allow better, better less debris and then longer life on our undercarriage and easier to repair for the customers working in the field.